Uh, hang on, honey. Hey, honey, hang on. Someone's at the door. Hang on. Oh, hey there, Mr. North Korean soldier man. How you, how you doing, man? Oh, wow, you're pretty strong. Look at that, muscles. Shouldn't touch you? Yeah, I probably shouldn't touch you. What's up, guys? Can 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 I uh, can we do this later? Like I kind of got my, my my girl and I got my Spider-Man costume on. We're doing the freaky shit. Can you come back at another you know like at another time like tomorrow? You can't. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, what, what can I help you, gentlemen? For what can I help you with, man? Like, can we make this kind of quick? I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time? I think you just said like you want my dog. I'm sorry, but hell, you want my dog? You can't have my fucking dog. You can't have my fucking dog. You can't have my dog, man. I'm like, stay the fuck away, dude. No. All right, all right, dude. Like, what? Why, why do you want my dog so bad, dude? Like, it kind of sounded like you know you said uh, you wanted to eat my dog. Wait, wait, but wait, hold on. Wait, that made, wait, wait. Why would you? Wait, why, why would you want to eat? Why would you? Why would you want to eat my dog though? Like, that doesn't make sense. You're hungry? Well, dude, like, why don't you just say so, bro? I got hella munchies, man. Like, I got fucking Fruity Pebbles. I, the milk's a bit sour, but I can ask my wife to refill, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all natural. But, I, I mean, I got string cheese. I got sardines, you know? Like, I, I got freeze pops, dipping dots. Like, you know, I think I, have, I think I have some peanut butter. Don't, don't say peanut butter too loud in front of Oscar. He might start sucking your dick, but it's just a thing that happens with... It's hereditary, you know, his dad was a, he loved peanut butter. Come on, man, like, can we do this, like, another time, man? Like, can't you tell, like, I got my feathers in, dude. Like, I never put my feathers in, like, unless I'm, like, it's a special night, you know what I mean? Like, so, like, no, like, all right, like, you, you seem pretty serious about this whole eating my dog scenario, so, um, look, 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 guys, uh, I mean, like, what the fuck, you know, come on, soldier boy, like, you, you know, like, guys, we, we, you know, we just moved to North Korea, you know, like, we're brand new here, like, you think, like, you could, you know, cut us some slack, you know, maybe, you know, maybe go, you know, eat someone else's dog, you know, like, oh, you're taking everyone's dogs, but, well, but, but, like, but, wait, really, like, you're gonna eat everyone's dogs, like, who's, who's that hungry, though? Oh, Kim Jong-un, oh. Oh, he's gonna eat everyone's dog. Well, that's a lot of dogs for like one guy, man. Oh, he's a god? Oh, I'm, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend your god, but uh, all right. Well, look, look hey man, um, you know, uh, to be to be like totally fair with you, to be honest, I mean, like, to be honest, like I'm a little bit nervous because like you're super scary and you got guns and you know, like, I know, like, I'm in a dangerous situation right now, but I don't really know how I feel about letting you eat my dog, so just, officer, go, 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 run, 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 run. Oh, hey, oh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, dude, like, hold on, guys. Like, Jesus Christ, man, like, what are you going to do? Fucking, like, shoot me if I don't give you my dog? Like, what if I refuse? Your accent's a little bit thick. Can you, can you speak a little bit better English? Oh, okay, you're going to shoot me. Got it, um... Like right now, you will. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, hey, Oscar. Oscar, hey, buddy. Hey, 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 come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. Bitch, we don't fuck with small talk. We associate with people that are known to call cops. See that shine from my wrist to my neck, so rocks. Gucci flip flops with Louis Vuitton socks. Man, I'm always doing work. This shit is nonstop. Fuck your bitch and blow inside the mouth just like a hot rock. And welcome back to Darth News. So thankful that you're here watching my channel. I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Uh, but before we get to the news, I wanted to just give a message to all the people who freaked out on me for my last video. All the people who said, fuck you, fuck off, you goddamn Trump supporter, you goddamn Republican racist. This is a common sense channel. You know, the left, the right, we should all be able to agree on common sense. And unfortunately, there's only one common sense candidate running for president right now. And that's uh, 
Don't worry, I won't say his name. I, won't, I know, I know, it's like Voldemort. Ooh, Donald Trump! Now, as ridiculous and as stupid and silly and over-the-top and offensive and, and just downright... Well, gosh darn it, it's a, it's, it... This is a knee slapper. I'm not sure where I'm going with this one, but look, this channel sucks, but it's still a news channel to some level, okay? Underneath all of the... Underneath all of the weird shit, there's there's still news. There's the Darth part of the news, and then there's the news part of the news. Do, 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 do you follow? Because if you if you don't, then fuck out of here. Look, there's the Darth part, then there's the news part. But I still cover the news, and what's in the news? Politics. A lot of fucking politics. It's like dominated by politics. There's nothing but fucking politics. And to be honest, I don't give two shits about celebrities. I just, I just don't care. I don't, I don't care. They have more money, wealth, fame, fortune than I will ever have, than anyone that I've ever known combined will ever have. So why am I gonna waste my fucking days worrying about what they're doing? I'm more concerned about what's going on in the world right now. What can affect us? What can affect my, my life? Fucking, you, you know, like Amber Heard, no offense, is not going to affect my life in any way, shape, or form, ever. It will never happen. But politics, that will affect my life in a lot of ways. So I'm going to talk about it. And the reason I'm ramping up my political videos for right now is because we're getting close to an election. We're three and a half weeks or two and a half weeks away from a fucking presidential election. So of course, I'm going to be a little bit political. Ooh, fucking sue me. Unsubscribe. Cancel me. I, I just, I, I don't care. I don't care. Don't even waste your breath. Don't even waste your energy leaving me a comment about how upset you are that I'm fucking talking about Donald Trump. How could you? You fucking racist. You fucking drumster. You fucking stupid trumpet maggot. Don't waste your breath complaining. As a matter of fact, uh, there is a message from Donald Trump uh, for all of you triggered people that are mad that I went political. Oh, sorry, Applejack, hit it. You're mad, I'm back. Big mad, he's mad, she's mad, big fat, ha ha, don't care, stay mad. Anyways, welcome back to Darth News, special edition. Thank God there's still some normal people in the world who agree with me that it's weird and, and totally fucked up to eat your dog or any dog. It doesn't matter how delicious it might look. Now we all know about the Chinese dog festival where they kill a bunch of dogs and they, it's, it's fucked up. We all know about that, but people voluntarily, you know, kill the dogs and eat the dogs and whatever. But in North Korea, this motherfucker, Kim Jong-un is ordering, demanding, and if you don't, if you don't, if you don't do as he says, you're, you're done. He's demanding that you give up your pet, your beloved little pet, so he can eat some meat. This crazy little motherfucking tyrant is literally sending soldiers door to door to all the people who have dogs that are registered. And I, I guarantee you, everyone who has a dog has that dog registered. Otherwise, they're in some deep shit. But, um... Anyway, apparently it's a luxury to have a dog in North Korea, but he has his soldiers, little minions, going door to door, confiscating people's pets, with or without their permission. With your permission, you get to live. Without your permission, you put up some kind of a fight, you're, you're dead. I, I, now, but they're North Korean, so they're all weird as shit. I guarantee you no one put up a fight. They're all like, take my dog. I, I, I give it as tribute. I hope Master's happy. But they probably think that because they've been brainwashed. But in the real world, you know, not, not a third world fucking weird ass shithole like North Korea. In the real world, like, in the, you know, like the United States of America. Yeah, like you, yeah, like the United States of America. Well, in America, in almost every civilized country in the world, it is fucked up to go around stealing people's animals and eating them. Now, Kim Jong-un is a man who arbitrarily executed people in his command, in his own trusted circle. 
like, <laughs> do you know how hard it is to be, to get a job on the inside of Kim Jong-un's circle? <laughs> it's gotta be probably the hardest job to get on the planet. So, so these guys have been vetted, but this dude, this crazy little fucking tyrant executed officials in his own trusted circle for merely not clapping enthusiastically enough. They didn't clap loud enough. And not only that, he killed another motherfucker because he looked at him funny when he sneezed instead of saying, God bless you, or whatever they say, Gesundheit. Is that, is that Italy? I don't know. Kim Jong-un literally murdered somebody for not saying, God bless you. This is like the real life dogma. You know that Kevin Smith movie? I mean, fuck Kevin Smith. But you know that you know that Kevin Smith movie with Ben Affleck? It was a good movie, actually. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, he's just like, you didn't say God bless you. <laughs> Classic. Anyway, this news story brings a whole new light and meaning to the words wiener dogs and puppy chow mein. Number one source of meat and protein in North Korea is rabbit. Fucking rabbit. You're not even allowed to eat beef unless it's a regulated amount for your stew or soups. The people of North Korea have been starving since the 90s, and Kim Jong-un has only amplified the starvation and the deaths. Not to mention, between 2001 and 2007, over a million people died from starvation, or, or roughly 10% of the population died from starvation. That's what I call taking care of your people. I'm joking. Only about 60% of North Koreans have cell phones, and all of them operate off a 3G network by choice. Yes, Kim Jong-un is like, all of you little peasants, are you, you're gonna use that 3G shit, so you're not gonna be able to watch any porn. Not that you could anyway, because we have it all blocked off, um, but you know. And almost virtually every single person who sucks a dick, <laughs> fuck. And virtually almost nobody is allowed to use the internet, except for government officials and fucking uh, international diplomats. Do they have television? Oh yeah, you betcha. You betcha. They sure they sure have TVs, all right. What's the catch? Oh, like, what do you mean, what's the catch? We're talking about North Korea. It's the land of the free, home of the brave, right? The catch is there's only one channel, or is it two? One or two. It's the Kim Jong-un Network, 24-7, baby. Take what CNN does to people as far as brainwashing them and, and amplify that times 10 million. Yeah, there, there's no hope for, for, the, for the North Koreans. I mean, I hope, that, I hope there's hope. I, I always hope that there's hope, you know, but I'm a realist and a nihilist and a pessimist. I'm, I'm a half glass empty kind of, you know, you get it. So let's stop fucking around and read the article. Applejack, hit it. All right, Darthonites, we're over here at the Post Millennial. Title reads, Kim Jong-un orders North Koreans to hand over their pet dogs so they can be eaten. I repeat, so they can be eaten. Jesus Christ. They say North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un has ordered citizens to hand over their pet dogs so they can be killed and eaten as a new famine threatens the country. Well, I mean, who's responsible for that, Kim? The article reads, heavy rain and widespread flooding and crop damages have left the country short of food supplies, leading the Stalinist regime to demand more wealthy North Koreans to give up their dogs, which are considered a decadent luxury and a tainted trend by Borgias ideology. I think I said that right, I don't know, Borgias ideology. Uh, anyway, according to the South Korean news outlet, Cho Sun Iblo, Ilbo, I don't know how to say that. Um, a source told the newspaper, authorities have now identified households with pet dogs and are forcing them to give them up or forcefully confiscating them and putting them down. The pets are rounded up with some of them being sent to zoos and others being sold directly to the restaurant trade. What's next? Cannibalism? Yeah, probably. I wouldn't be surprised if they're already practicing cannibalism in North Korea. Wouldn't shock me at all if they're eating people. I mean, honestly, I would not be surprised. Just add that to my fucking tab on 2020. I mean, you know, it's fucked up enough that the North Korean government is actually stealing its citizens' dogs with or without their permission, killing them, and then eating them. Uh, but why the hell are they stealing their citizens' dogs and giving them to zoos? What are they, are they gonna put their dogs in fucking cages for everyone to see? You gotta pay money to go see people's pet dogs, or? Oh, actually, I think I just answered my own question. They're gonna fucking feed the lions, and the tigers, and the bears, and the hyenas. That's what they're fucking, oh my God, that's what they're gonna do. I mean, can, do you have a better answer? Why else would they give dogs to a zoo? I mean, if, if there's a if there's a a shortage 
of food. I'm assuming, you know, that transcends people and animals, you know. So they're probably, fuck man, they're probably feeding people's dogs to the bears and to the tigers. And they're, I mean, fuck. Do you, do you think that they're feeding them live or do you think they kill them first and then feed them? North Korea is pretty fucked up. They're probably feeding people's pets alive to the bears. That is so fucked. That would make me cry. Oscar, where, where's my puppy? Hey, papas. Oh my God, I love you so much, baby. Don't you dare. The article reads, back in 2017, North Korean defector Jim Ju Min, did I, did I say that right? <clears throat> North Korean defecto Jim Ju Min claimed that the famine became so chronic. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I will stop that right now. Okay, uh, he claimed that the famine became so chronic in the late 90s that he witnessed people being forced to eat each other. Well, goddamn, there's your cannibalism scenario right there and uh, by the way no, nobody is forced to eat anybody N nobody like you're, you're not for nobody's forcing you to eat anybody that just does not happen okay i understand that you're starving and you're hungry but maybe grow some fucking plants i mean uh, eat some tree bark or I, I would never i would fucking starve to death before i eat another human being that's just me though <laughs> anyway he goes on to say quote it was a common thing at the time it was not surprising <laughs> Damn it. Okay, buddy. Well, if I saw anyone cooking their child in a fucking cauldron like some chicken beef stew, I sure as shit would be surprised. That's just me. But this is yet another reminder that communism, wherever it is tried, always leads to starvation and brutality. That, that's correct. That is correct. That is absolutely correct. Wow, North Korea sure sucks a whole lot of donkey dick, am I right? I mean, like, fuck that place. I'm sure never going to go there. Uh, basically, I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to bring awareness that... North Korea, I mean, as you already know, are just a bunch of savages. They're a bunch of heartless, soulless bastards who, who need to be expunged. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm, jo I'm not insinuating violence. Well, I mean, even if I were, it's not realistic. It's not like anybody that like is watching this video is going to be like, Yeah, yeah, fuck North Korea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go bomb North Korea. I dare you. Good luck. Go ahead. So, you don't fuck North Korea. Blow, blow them all up. Or at least send someone in to take out Kim Jong-un. Have you not seen the movie, the interview? It's, it's, it's a fucking masterpiece. It's literally laying out the blueprints on how to kill that motherfucker. And it would work too. It would work too. I mean, minus the, you know, the James Franco, Seth Rogen dynamic. If you were to send someone in there undercover, I I'm sure they could get the job done and set the people free. So yeah, we all know that there's places in Asia that are fucked up and eat dogs, but I wanted to bring this to your attention because this country is forcing you to give up your pet so they can eat it or give it to a fucking zoo so the lions can have at it. And, and I'm t I, I guarantee you, like I said earlier, I guarantee fucking to you, guarantee you, they are rounding up all of your fucking pets and they're throwing them in these cages live. They are feeding your pets live. Well, not your pets, because none of you live in North Korea. And if you are in North Korea, there's no way you can watch this video because you're not allowed to. But people in North Korea have to give up their fucking pets and those pets are being eaten alive. Now it's all, it's, it's all just a, uh, well, I'm, I'm kind of making that part up. But I, I feel like it's true. I feel like if I really wanted to do some investigation work, I could find out. I probably would. No one really knows anything about North Korea because it's super sketch. So until next time, don't forget to pull out. That is P-O-O-L. And as always, hug your dog nice and tight or your cat or whatever, your lizard, your fucking snail, hamster, whatever kind of animals you own, hug it tight. Hug, hug them all or one. I don't know. Just just hug your pets and let them, let them know that you love them. And let them know how lucky they are that they don't live in fucking North Korea. I guarantee you, if you had a snake, they would take the snake. They'd be like, ooh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a nice snake. Right. Yeah, you got a big stick? Let's put this snake on a stick. Yeah, it's my favorite. Uh, but anyway, as always, please consider like, sharing, and or subscribing, or, you know, you don't have to. You could just tell me to fuck off and leave me a dislike and a nasty comment and let me know that you're gonna unsubscribe. But at the end of the day, I don't, I don't care. You're, you're wasting your breath, like I said earlier. And now I'm wasting my breath by being redundant and repeating the same information over and over and over again. But I feel like I have to because you stupid motherfuckers just don't get it. I know, this channel isn't what it used to be. Ooh. Is anything what it used to be? 
I mean, you aren't who you used to be, you know, seven years ago. Every cell in your body, every everything in your body has been transformed, changed. It's died and been reborn. My point, my point is, I'm not a scientist. I, I don't, I don't study, you know, science. But what I'm trying to say is, nothing stays the same. This channel will evolve, and it will continue to evolve. You know, it's, it's never gonna. Nothing is stationary, you know, nothing. So if you're not happy with what I'm doing right now, then, you know, maybe, maybe unsubscribe and come back next year. Maybe you'll, you'll like what you see. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Or maybe you could unsubscribe and just, you know, peek in here and there. Be like, well, I fucking hate that dark guy, but you know what? I want to just see what's up in his videos. And, you, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to, you're, you're going to want to hit that like button, but you're going to be like, no, I can't because... I unsubscribed to Finn Fuck Darth and blah, 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 blah. Why do I watch his videos when he just rants and rants and he just makes no goddamn sense? He's just a stupid idiot. I don't know. I'm not, I mean, I'm not arguing with you. I am, I am pretty stupid. We're, we're good that time. I, I was worried it was going to roll, roll. Anyway, fuck off. Um, but seriously, hug your dog very tight, if you have a dog. If you have a cat, just leave it alone, because usually cats don't like to be... Well, most cats. There's some weird, weird ones, but I don't know.